Hello you, we wish you a good new day and nice. Welcome back my channel, here is the main news for you. Please see them follow. One Taylor Swift attends Travis Kelsey's Chiefs vs Ravens game. Taylor Swift is the most supportive girlfriend. See photos of her attending Travis Kelsey's first Chiefs game of the 2024 season. Taylor Swift attended the first Kansas City Chiefs game of the 2024-2025 season, and she was ready to cheer them and her boyfriend Travis Kelsey on against the Baltimore Ravens. Fans were already expecting the pop icon's attendance hours before she showed up to Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. And upon her arrival, Taylor was greeted by enthusiastic fans who waved her in. Of course, Taylor never goes out of style, so she chose a trendy outfit for the game. A denim crop top with matching high-waisted shorts and thigh-high maroon boots. Taylor was rocking an all-denim look for the game. She opted for a spaghetti strap crop top with matching high-waisted shorts and maroon thigh-high boots. Taylor watched the game from her suite alongside some of Travis's family members. Including his parents, Taylor was visibly shocked to watch the action on the field as she applauded the Chiefs from her suite. The pop singer was all smiles during the game as she watched Travis return for the 2024-2025 football season. 2. Demi Lovato's Child Star Documentary Trailer Release date and the celebrity cast Demi Lovato is set to release her documentary, Child Star Asterisk, following the impact of Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV Asterisk. The film features interviews with various former child stars, including Lovato's Disney Channel peers, as they discuss the challenges of growing up in the entertainment industry such as mental health issues, drug abuse, and societal pressures. The trailer highlights Lovato's own experiences as a Disney icon and includes appearances from celebrities like Drew Barrymore, Kenan Thompson, and Raven Simone. Child Star marks Lovato's directorial debut and aims to provide an intimate look at the complexities of child stardom. The release date for the documentary has not been specified. 3. Who was Rich Homie Kwan? 5 Things to Know About the Late Rapper After His Death Rich Homie Kwan Whose real name was DeQuantes Devante Lamar, passed away on September 5, 2024, at the age of 34. His girlfriend, Amber Williams, found him unresponsive and called 911. But the cause of death is still undetermined. Born on October 4, 1990, in Atlanta, Quan had a troubled past, including time in jail for burglaries. But he later achieved success in music with hits like Flex and Type of Way. By 2024, his net worth was estimated at $3.5 million. Quan and Williams were in a committed relationship and had two children together, while he had a total of four kids with different women. An autopsy is scheduled to determine the cause of death. 4. Venice International Film Festival 2024 Red Carpet Photos of the stars The 2024 Venice Film Festival is featuring casts from Beetlejuice Beetlejuice and more. See red carpet photos from the festival. This year's Venice International Film Festival is featuring all the stars from upcoming movies. Hollywood veterans like Catherine O'Hara, Angelina Jolie, Michael Keaton and Winona Ryder attended the premieres for their movies and of course, dressed to impress at the event. From the photo call to the red carpet, some actors chose looks that matched the themes from their respective films. Jenna Ortega, for example, wore several outfits that were reminiscent of the original Beetlejuice movie. 
While walking the red carpet during the festival's first week, the Wednesday star wore a red tulle gown that commemorated her co-star Winona's character's red wedding gown. 5. Who is Amber Williams? Rich Homie Kwan's longtime girlfriend Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Kwan, whose real name was DeQuantes Devante Lamar, has died at the age of 34. He passed away on September 5 at his home in Atlanta, with the cause of death yet to be confirmed, though reports suggest a possible drug overdose. His girlfriend, Amber Williams, found him unresponsive on their couch after dropping off their son at school. A 911 call from Williams revealed her distress as she discovered Lamar's lifeless body. The couple had two children together, and Lamar was also a father to two other sons from previous relationships. An autopsy is scheduled to determine the cause of death. 6. Are Taylor Swift and Brittany Mahomes still friends? They sit separately at Chiefs game Taylor Swift and Brittany Mahomes' friendship is under scrutiny after Brittany expressed support for pro-Donald Trump social media posts. Raising questions among Swift's fans about the status of their relationship. At a recent Chiefs game, the two were seen sitting in separate suites, a departure from their previous camaraderie. Brittany liked a post outlining the 2024 GOP platform, which led to backlash and prompted her to address critics on Instagram, suggesting they have unresolved issues. Taylor has not commented on the situation, although she has previously criticized Trump. Despite the current tension, Britney defended Taylor against online trolls earlier this year, indicating that their friendship may still hold. 7. Are Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey still together? Inside rumored breakup contract Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey who began dating in the summer of 2023 and went public in September, have become a notable celebrity couple. Recently, rumors of a planned breakup surfaced online, fueled by a document that outlined a media strategy for handling a breakup, allegedly set for announcement on September 28, 2024. However, Travis's PR firm dismissed the document as entirely false and fabricated, and is pursuing legal action against those responsible for it. Despite the rumors, Taylor and Travis are still together. As evidenced by Travis's recent appearance on The Rich Eisen Show, where he discussed his role in Taylor's heiress tour and shared personal anecdotes about their relationship. 8. Who is Emily Armstrong? Five things to know about Linkin Park's new singer Linkin Park has announced a reunion for a new tour in music, seven years after the death of their frontman Chester Bennington. They have brought in Emily Armstrong, the lead singer of Dead Sarah, as a co-vocalist. Armstrong debuted with the band during a live stream where they showcased their new single. The Emptiness Machine, alongside returning members Mike Shinoda, Brad Delson, Dave, Phoenix, Farrell, and Joe Hahn. The band is set to release a new album, From Zero Asterisk, in November 2024, and will embark on a global tour. Armstrong, who grew up in Los Angeles and left high school to pursue music, has a diverse musical background influenced by rock, folk, and blues. She expressed her admiration for Linkin Park's asterisk hybrid theory asterisk, which inspired her musical aspirations. However, her appointment has sparked controversy due to her connections with the Church of Scientology and support for convicted actor Danny Masterson, raising concerns among some fans.